the hate army troll. It's the hate army, bro. Hate army. Shout that out guy. to hate. hate. Army. Good vibes to the Shout hate out to army. Hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out Shout to out hate. hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out for Shout hate. Out for hate. <laughs> so, Alan Wake 2, first of all, <clears throat> I finished it up on Wednesday night after big overtime. Usually my late streams are two hours. This stream was about four hours long. Yeah, I stayed that late. Because <clears throat> I wanted to finish up a game before my week had ended. So that way we could focus more on new games this week. Um, and let me tell you, the ending was wild. The ending was interesting, exciting. It kept you thinking. Um, but without spoiling, because I'm not going to spoil the end of the game for those who are still playing or watching. Um, <clears throat> sadly... Yes, they went for the classic horror trope. It didn't have a definitive ending. Most of these horror games these days don't do that, right? They all kind of hang on the edge of having a real ending or not. I'll tell you this. First off, even though All Way 2 does not have a definitive ending, okay? Um, <clears throat> it does feel... Like, there is positive progression. When you beat the game and you get this ending, it doesn't feel like you wasted your time. I hate to say it, there's been games recently with the atrocious writing and things like that, that when you beat them, you feel like, man, I wasted my entire time playing this game because the ending is so wishy-washy or it almost like erases everything you did as if like nothing you did matter in the game, right? <clears throat> so... Definitely not the case. By the end of Alan Wake 2, you feel like, okay, everything I did mattered. This is setting us up for something better, even though there's no real definitive ending. <clears throat> uh, you know, I still liked it a lot, okay? Now, it obviously makes it feel like there's either going to be DLCs or add-ons or maybe even an Alan Wake 3 that later on is going to give you the real ending, all right? I don't know. If you, if you played Alan Wake 1... Alan Wake 1 had two DLCs, and then it had a standalone expansion years later called American Nightmare, and none of those ever gave you the definitive ending. Nope. They all added more content. They all added more story. They all explained more, but not one of them definitively finished the story. Okay? So, I don't know how they're going for here, alright? But what I will say is this, okay? First of all, <clears throat> Alan Wake 2 is one of the most unique video games I've ever played, and I've been saying this for years now, that too many games are so afraid of taking any kind of a chance, that instead of trying to do something unique and different that will hook the audience, that will make you remember this game and resonate, instead, they all go for the same exact style, they all follow the same molds and cookie cutter layouts, right? <clears throat> so what is your game? Oh, it's an action first-person shooter. Oh, it's a third-person cover-based shooter. Oh, it's a JRPG. Oh, it's, a, you know, it's this kind of game. It's, that, it's a looter shooter. It's a battle royale. And they all play the same. Okay? Thankfully, this is not the case with Alan Wake 2. This game has multiple parts, all right, that are all completely unique. Things I can tell you I have never done in a video game before. <clears throat> I've never once sat down in a video game and watched an interactive rock opera that told the story of the game while you were playing it. I never saw a game where you literally watch a 20-minute short film inside the game, and it's it's pertinent to the plot of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, never. And this, this game just has these unique parts uh, <clears throat> to them that I'm absolutely loving. I loved it. And like I said, I will never really forget this game. This game will always stand out for these unique parts that it had, and that's great. That's exactly what you should have in the gaming landscape these days, and far too games go for that. They all go for the same. Got to follow the formula. I mean, you want to talk about a game, a 100% case-in-point game that that's the case? Starfield. You want to talk about a game that didn't even try to venture outside of the standard Bethesda formula? And it's just a standard Bethesda RPG. And because of that, Starfield is the antithesis of Alan Wake 2. It literally has nothing memorable about it at all. Like I told you guys, when you think about Bethesda RPGs, right? 
excuse me, and you think about, okay, when you think Elder Scrolls, you think, oh my god, this open RPG universe, throwing fireballs and using swords and hand-to-hand combat, all the cool, uh, you know, leveling uh, things about it, big, you know, monsters and dragons, trolls, the Dwemer, the freaking Daedra monsters, there's all these iconic things in the world of Elder Scrolls, right? <clears throat> when you think Fallout, you think, oh, the post-apocalypse, bottle caps, radiation, ghouls, super mutants, su- you know, armor suits that you wear, the bunkers, you think of all that stuff. When you think of Starfield, space, there's literally nothing special about Starfield. And that's what I mean, like, too many games today don't take chances anymore. They're just boring, blah, follow the cookie cutter formula, and don't, they're not memorable. You can literally, I mean, this is my opinion on Starfield at this point, I haven't even finished the game yet, but you see the point I'm making? Starfield was supposed to be one of the most hyped games of the year, I haven't finished it yet, nor am I in a rush to. Is that how you should feel about the latest Bethesda RPG? Of course not. Obviously, that means something's wrong if someone who's a fan of Bethesda RPGs has no desire to go back to finish your game, right? There's a problem there. Alan Wake 2 is literally the opposite. The entire time I played it, I was always craving going back to play it more. I was always wondering, what's the next thing they're going to do with the plot? What's the next cool new game element they're going to implement that I've never seen before? You know, I was at the edge of my seat the entire time I was playing Alan Wake 2. And if that's not a compliment, I don't know what is. Someone like me, 15 years a YouTuber, you would think I'd be incredibly jaded by now of these games that we play every day, and I wouldn't really find too much unique about many of them. This one is the opposite. I mean, I'm hard-pressed, really, to find too many criticisms besides there was a few uh, game bugs in the game that were very annoying um, during gameplay, critical gameplay moments like boss fights, and those game bugs really suck that they were in there. Hopefully, they'll patch those out. Um, <clears throat> and, of course, like I said, not having a definitive ending, I can definitely see some people having issue with that. But outside of those two things, the game is absolutely outstanding. For the If you like suspense, thriller, horror, action, puzzle, if you want something unique, all those elements are in this game, a unique whole, right? They really make you feel like a completely unique gameplay experience, and that's awesome. So Alan Wake 2, first of all, it's way better than Alan Wake 1. Like, Alan Wake 1 was okay for the time, and the reason it was good is because they didn't really have, like, a spooky game with that kind of level of atmosphere and thriller, psychological thriller content. This game ramps it up so much, it's, like, ten times better than Alan Wake 1. It seriously is. Um, <clears throat> and I absolutely loved it. So I hope that you guys will give it a look. The only bummer I will say, if you didn't play Alan Wake 1... There's a lot of stuff you're going to miss because this game has insane amount of references to the plot of Alan Wake 1 to the point where if you didn't play it, you're not going to recognize some of the characters. You're not going to understand a lot of the lore and things that you find. Um, you know, the entire the entire character of Alan Wake's wife, she's a main character in the first game and she's in the plot of this, but you wouldn't really even understand it unless you had played the first game. You don't even get it. You know what I mean? So you definitely got to kind of play the first one or at the very least read a big plot synopsis or maybe watch someone else's playthrough of the first one to really fully enjoy Alan Wake 2 in my opinion but I love the game I hope you guys will check out the playthrough you know it's now complete it's about thir- a little over 30 hours because I think it clocked in at 28 parts but those last few parts are like 2 hours long each something like that so definitely the playthrough is around 30 30 to 1 hours long. Um, <clears throat> it's absolutely worth a watch. If you want to see one of the most unique game playthroughs that I've done in the last few years, this is definitely one of them. This one will absolutely stand out as one of the special ones. Okay? So, please give it a look. And apparently, I'm being told all these things. First of all, some people are saying, oh, there's already two DLCs scheduled for it. And then Dab Hand is saying, so there's a new game plus mode being added, and the new game plus mode is supposed to be, you play it again, but you already know all the content from the first run, and there's a true ending at the end. I don't know who to believe, but I'm not really freaking out about it right now. You know, will we ever go back? If there are DLCs to add to the story, I might play them. This is definitely the kind of game 
where it makes you want more, right? The plot was so unique and interesting that it's like, man, I want more. I didn't get my definitive answer. I want more, right? So I absolutely would love to play more. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't think there's any f formal announcements about, you know, what's coming out when or anything like that right now, okay? But good stuff. Enjoy the playthrough. I know many of you now might start watching the playthrough. Maybe you're playing the game yourselves and you're watching along. It's full now. It's done. It's crazy. It's a wild ending. And uh, I hope that you'll give it a look. It's, again, one of my favorite playthroughs in years. And I would argue probably one of the best games of this year worth watching. You know, people always say, well, what's, what should I watch that you're doing, you know, this year? That's one for sure. Alan Way 2 is one of the playthroughs you should watch. Okay. Bigby helps me more than anything.